<laughs> uh, weather's changing. Let's go right to our SkyCam. Got uh, the Barons downtown Birmingham tonight. That's a live look at Regions Field. First pitch at 7.05. Weather's going to be fine for the ball game tonight, but we're going to see some rain at times during the day tomorrow. A very mild afternoon. Everybody in the 70s now. Birmingham and Anniston 75. Tuscaloosa 70. Coleman 75. The cool spot down in Demopolis. They've got 69 because of clouds, and those clouds are increasing tonight as this upper low continues to spin away around Lake Charles, Louisiana. On the east side of the circulation. Moisture is moving northward. We might see some rain as early as late tonight after midnight. At the moment, the bulk of the rain down here across the southern part of the state, especially the southwestern corner, rain falling in Mobile and Baldwin County is heavier rain offshore. And again, that moisture is headed north. Now, there's a low end, level one out of level five, marginal risk of severe storms for about the southern two-thirds of the state tomorrow. Basically, areas along and south of U.S. Highway 278, south of Cal this is a low end threat, but there could be a few storms tomorrow afternoon with small hail, gusty winds, and there's a low end tornado threat. Could there be a brief tornado? Yes. Is it likely? No. But as always, with any system in April, you have to watch those carefully, even low end systems like this. Surface low to the south and west of here, you'll see these bands of showers and thunderstorms during the day tomorrow. Not raining all day, and the better chance of stronger storms coming in here tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. The sky becoming cloudy tonight. Lows tomorrow morning, low in mid-50s, and again, we could see some rain as early as after midnight tonight. In fact, we'll take a look at future view. This is the hour-by-hour hour forecast. The sky becoming cloudy tonight. We'll stop it tomorrow morning about 6.15, and at that point, a good chance rain will be falling in many areas, so a chance you'll be driving to work. And the rain with temperatures in the 50s, no strong storms early in the day. That first batch of rain moves north. A second batch forms tomorrow afternoon. And again, not raining all day, but the storms where they do form could be strong. And again, they have the chance of producing some small hail, gusty winds. And could there be a brief tornado? Yes, but it's not especially likely. But as always, have a way of getting warnings just in case. And then on Friday, we'll maintain the chance of scattered showers. Nothing too heavy, nothing too widespread. In fact, a decent chunk of the day Friday should be dry with highs in the 70s. The next chance of rain over the weekend, late Saturday night into Sunday morning. Next 10 days look like this. Tomorrow, cloudy with a few passing showers. Maybe a strong storm tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. The high 67. Friday, the chance of scattered showers. Nothing especially widespread, mostly cloudy the high 72. Saturday at this point looking warm and dry, partially sunny, the high 81. Rain returns after midnight Saturday night into Sunday morning. The rain should be over by noon Sunday, the high Sunday 69. And for now, much of next week looking dry, 70s on Monday and Tuesday, 80s for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. You can catch my forecast every day on great radio stations around the state, including in Birmingham, 98.7 KISS. And just a reminder, you can help get help programming your weather radio in Tuscaloosa County tomorrow. Chief Meteorologist James Spann and others will be at the Lowe's in Northport from 4 to 6.30 p.m. And a reminder also that you can stay ahead of the weather with the ABC 3340 weather app. You'll have access to live radar, James's weather blog, and the 10-day forecast.